to Winnipeg now, where the Manitoba Museum is playing host to a 350-year-old document. For the first time in its history, the Hudson Bay Company's Royal Charter is on display to the public. The charter was granted by King Charles II in 1670. And it gave the Hudson Bay Company control over all lands whose river and streams drain into the Hudson Bay. That amounted to about 40% of what is now known as Canada. This was done without consultation or approval of the Indigenous owners of the land. The company later transferred its so-called land rights to the newly formed country of Canada in 1870, again without consultation or consent. It definitely reflects that colonial mindset, that, and that was something that was um, prevalent at that time, what they often called the age of discovery, because of course they thought they were discovering new places. We know that's not true. Um, but yeah, it reflects that, that attitude, um, and it reflects the complexities of the relationship between the company and Indigenous peoples.